rack is almost ready. We got food, bedding, spotter, camera stuff, trekking poles, clothes. This pack is gonna be maxed out. I'm kind of worried I won't be able to close the zipper, but we'll give it my best shot. We got the lid on top too. I got two days of food in here, two in the pack with all my bedding stuff, kill kit, all that. I got a little tarp here, all the electronics, the chargers, Zolio, deodorant, toothbrush, all that in there. Tent I'm hanging underneath the pack and then rifle will be on the end. Fully loaded, ready to go. There we go. She is maxed out. Kept it nice and flat for the rifle, which is nice, but it's surprisingly light. It's not bad at all. Like I'd say it's only, honestly, like 30, 35, which is, pretty impressive for the amount of stuff I have. It's just like there's some bulky stuff in there. Like the sleeping bag takes up tons of the room, so. Well, we're part way up. Quads are loaded. <laughs> Boys are headed in. It's uh, November 6th today. We got four days here. Um, quad in deep. We're going new place we've never been for. Super deep. We left early this morning and it's probably getting close to noon now. So we're getting away from everyone but, uh, almost to where we want to camp did a lot of e-scouting and gonna set up camp and work from there and get an evening hunt in today and then spend the next three nights hammering ground Valen just flipped his quad jeez good. it does look good yeah. I like my spit plate rolled this thing and then I flipped and I went flying forward jeez I was scared. I just like, I heard it and I looked back and you were just like upside down in the air, like t twisting and rolling. Yeah, it's just a little bit, a little bit of damage, but not really. That was already damaged. That was already damaged? Oh, okay. Yeah. Holy fuck. Good morning. <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> How's that working for you? Not bad. I just gotta... Make sure it's leveled off. She's a wee bit snowy out here. Looks like home sweet home to me though. Dalen's getting right down and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Snow's coming down fast, but here's my pad. Dalen's got his rigged and ready. And now, there you go, tents are all set. I went overkill and did a second tarp. See what kind of weather we get. And then... Fire time. Yeah. Dan's gonna get, fire going. get going on a fire. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna get our little fire going. Made a little teepee with the bark on dead tree. And Travis at Wapiti River, he makes these little fire starters and they work great. So I'm going to fray that out, pull it apart, put it in there, light it up. They burn super quick. And then I'll throw these smaller twigs on and probably get the chainsaw and cut that big one down. Have wood for the next four days. start okay just got my tent kind of settled in here show you what they got i got four days of food um gloves sleeping bag sleeping pad extra clothes some more layers water jet boil and then in my pack i got my kill kit some more water and then like tripod trekking poles spotter scope all that and we're actually camping right at the quads. We were gonna backpack in, but because of the snow, we'll stay nice and close to the quads. But that's about camp. Nothing too special about it. Dalen's already got a fire going. Get the pack set up for our evening hunt and then uh, warm up, dry out a little, and we'll be 
back out there. Well, it is two o'clock and uh, we're just gonna head out for the evening hunt. It took us a while to get settled. It took us a while to get up here. Uh, long quad ride um, and then set up camp and we've had lunch. Dalen's just finishing up his, what do you have, spaghetti? Yeah. Spaghetti, yeah. Le like leftovers? No, 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 like uh, those little packets. Oh, little packets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Hop on the quads, we'll go for a drive. We're going to drop down in elevation for tonight and see what we got for tracks down there. But up high where we're camped right now, like there's tracks all through our camp right here. So there's some good ridges around here. So check it out down low and then probably stay up here tomorrow unless we see something down there. But we'll see how it goes. Prime time, three hours left till dark. Let's get it. There we go. We just made it back to camp. Got all the snow off the tents. First day is a success in that we got out and got to see some tracks. We saw a couple does, but no bucks. No bucks on the first evening. Um, but we found some good tracks and we know where to start tomorrow. So we're gonna warm up. It snowed probably three, three four inches maybe maybe well four or five i don't know quite a bit but we're pretty borderline pretty frozen yeah yeah it's gonna be a long night i think but we'll see how we how it goes rise and shine we made it then i survived the night he woke up once i think i woke up four times not bad at all though, I must say. Not bad at all. Water didn't freeze, so can't be too cold. Pretty comfy. Air mattress deflated a little bit, but not horrible. Dalen's deflated. But here we go, our first full day. We'll get this jet ball going, heat up the tent. Get the bags packed, some breakfast in us. There we go, we made it out of bed. Things all loaded, just fired up the quad. It snowed another inch maybe last night. Not bad, but time to go do some glassing. Visibility isn't great, but it's not bad. two and we're officially pulling out it's uh we've ran into quite the snow here it's about six inches and then it's still snowing right now and it's supposed to snow more um quads i'm just worried we're gonna get stuck so we're gonna pull out while we can uh, we got lots of other spots to hunt i don't want to do anything too risky so we packed up camp um feel bad because we full scent this spot and it was gonna it was gonna work out awesome but uh i just don't want to get stuck it's pretty pretty scary we're up super deep it's like just over a two hour quad ride in so i would hate to get stuck out here uh we're also getting huge winds um uh, big gusts and we've had multiple trees fall down on the trail already so it's gonna take us a while to get out but get out what we can play the safe one here and uh we'll try hunting some other spots for the remainder of the season it's a pretty nice buckling like you can just imagine that you're all like he's got a pretty big frame it's a huge frame it just doesn't have forks what part do you want man like it's a pretty nice buck that's the one they saw okay i'm recording just take your time make sure you're on i'm good
super steady. Yeah, good. Yeah. There he goes. He's going. No. No, he's in. Just let him work down the cliffs there. He's still walking. Oh, there he goes. Holy shit. Holy crap. Well, there you have it. This is sometimes how it works out. We're coming out of an overnight trip in the high alpine. And driving down because we got snowed out, too much snow up high. And spotted from the quad this stud. And right when I saw him, I was like, okay, that's a huge buck. <laughs> got on him and got him down. So when he's worked out, back down to the quads, we'll drive right underneath him. We should get him out whole, but it's just how it works out sometimes. You put in all this effort on this big alpine trip and you're tenting. And when it's in the negatives, you get snowed six inches. And then you come down and on your way down, you see a big buck and dump it. But that, that wraps up the 2023 mealy season. Sad to pull the trigger. Still a few days left of season, but that's a buck I'm not going to pass. That's that's my biggest mealy to date, an absolute stud. And just seeing him standing up on the hillside like that with a big old body. He's just basically hung up. We can got him. Car yeah, that's, good. that's what I'm talking about. Holy crap! Dude, that three, that three sign. You. Yeah. Oh, he's hung up good. Look oh, at the body around. on him, dude. That is so cool. He gets like thick up here. That's a nice buck, man. That is stud. Laid it on his three side. Look at him perfectly hung up so you can gut him. Oh. <laughs> Unreal. This is a huge deer. Look at the body on him. We just did an overnighter in high country looking for a big giant buck. We got snowed out. Worried we were going to get stuck up there. So we came down today and on the way down spotted this stud up on the ridge and uh, was able to connect on him. But I, I got to say, this is the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. He's huge. I just, I think two weeks ago or a week, I don't even know how long it's been. Dalen shot an absolute monarch of the mountain. And I think this thing's body might be a little bit bigger because this thing yeah. is huge. Just just the width right here. He is throughout. a beautiful, he's, he's massive. good mass, dark, heavy horned. This is what I love about a mule deer. Everyone has their little nicks and knacks on mealies. For me, it's dark, heavy horns. Nice wide frame. And a big Beautiful old frame. Buck. And big body, Roman nose. Just a great buck. Exactly what we were gonna look what we were looking for. Absolute stud. Could not be more stoked. Good way to end the 2023 mule deer season. All three of us are now tagged out. And tagged on an elk, tagged on a mule deer. It's just it's just a, a stellar year. I just can't thank everyone enough that's been a part of the journey for getting this deer. Dalen's put in a lot of work with me and then our buddy Alec he's been coming out and always Dawson. Everyone's a part of this deer right here and that marks the end to the 2023 mule deer season. Let's go. <laughs>